Hi, my name is Jordan Lemley, and I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today we're going to be talking about what's new in SolidWorks Enterprise PDM 2014, and specifically the new Microsoft Office integration with Enterprise PDM. Now, this is one of the most exciting changes to happen to EPDM in a while, so I'm excited to get to share this. Now, if you've spent any amount of time working with EPDM in the vault, you'll know that you can store all kinds of documents in the vault, including Microsoft Office documents, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. What you'll also know is that the process for editing those files takes a few more steps than SolidWorks. So, for example, I've got this engineering change order document, this ECO, and if I double click on the file to open it up, that will open it up read only because I haven't checked it out to have right access to it, which is great if I want to view the contents. But let's say that I accidentally opened up this document that I, I intended to change, but I forgot to check it out. And so I double click on it. I forget that it's read only. I start making changes to it. What happens when I go to save? Well, when I go to save the document, it won't let me, and that's because the file is read-only. And so I need to check it out, and I either need to go back and um, check out the file and redo my changes or save this as another version, another name, rather. So that can be kind of inconvenient. However, in SolidWorks, there's an integrated Enterprise PDM add-in in the task pane itself. So I never have to leave the SolidWorks environment because of this add-in. I can simply check out the file if I've made changes to it, or check it back in after I'm done making changes without leaving the SolidWorks interface. And the same thing applies to change, changing the state, pushing it through the workflow, taking a look at the data card. All of those EPDM functions are in SolidWorks itself because of that add-in. Now what's great is that in 2014, there's a new Enterprise PDM add-in for Microsoft Office. So after making those changes to the document, I can check it out. And suddenly I can continue making those changes to the document. And then once I'm done with them, check it back in all within the Office interface, this Microsoft Word interface through the add-in. And the same functions that we saw with SOLIDWORKS are there in Office. So getting a previous version of a file, taking a look at the data card, pushing the file through the workflow, and taking a look at information about that file from EPDM. So which version am I working with? Who has the file checked out? Uh, all of that information is right there at my disposal. Now this add-in works for Microsoft Word. Excel and PowerPoint, and it's a separate download from the installation media for Enterprise PDM. So if you want to go try out the new capability, you can download the EPDM add-in for Microsoft Office um, from the SolidWorks customer portal and download that to your client machine and install it and start working with SolidWorks document or start working with Microsoft Office documents rather just the same way that you're already working with SOLIDWORKS documents. So that is pretty much it for the new Office integration. In today's video, we covered the new Microsoft Office integration, and thanks for watching.